we are shaking things up this morning with some protein rich breakfast for dinner and I'm joined by Angie Horkin with the Wisconsin Beef Council. Looks delicious. Good morning. Happy Good spring. Good morning. Happy spring. Yeah, I've got some breakfast recipes. We actually have a lot of breakfast recipes that incorporate beef into them. You don't think of beef as a breakfast um, protein. Right. You know, usually it's lunch or dinner, but we have a lot of satisfying, filling, hot, hearty breakfast recipes that would be perfect for dinner too, because I kind of really like doing breakfast recipes for dinner. It's yeah, fun, switch things up. Easier, um, like this frittata would be perfect for dinner or it'd be perfect for a brunch, a weekend brunch, or of course breakfast too, but kind of a traditional frittata, but I started with a pound of lean ground beef, mm. browned it up with some onions, and then um, I've got potatoes in here, so like four to five small red potatoes. I did par cook those, so you can, um, you know, cook them about 10 minutes, kind of steam them in your skillet or in the microwave. Okay. Because then you're really going to only bake this about 15 to 18 minutes till your eggs are set. So oh, quick. get the potatoes about half done before you start. Then I've got zucchini in there that cooks really fast. And then um, six scrambled eggs with some fresh basil and salt and pepper. So, um, and that's it. And then you put the eggs on top of your cooked ground beef and all your veggies and then bake about 15 to 18 minutes just till the eggs are set. Um, so it's not very long. You know, you can make this recipe in 45 minutes and then you got a really fun, really warm, hearty frittata. You could top with some fresh tomato or a little green onion if you like. And I like the green little pop with the zucchini. It's yes, a nice little I know. Fresh it pop. looks really fun. It looks really springy too. I yeah. It's kind of fresh. And it, you know, it's, it is pretty light if you have it as a meal. You can make some fun side dishes to go with it. This, speaking of fun, this recipe is fun. So this is a monkey bread, but I added beef to it, of course, because I'm at the beef. Can you detail, right. walk us through right. what a monkey bread right. is? Oh, you know, usually monkey bread's in a bunt pan with biscuits and cinnamon and butter. Hmm. And it's like sweet and really, um, yeah, it's like a sweet kind of a biscuity recipe. Okay. So this is our beef sausage and cheddar monkey bread. Yum. So I started with a pound of lean ground beef. Now I browned that up and I added some pantry staples to make it taste like a Mexican style beef sausage. So red wine vinegar, a little chili powder, smoked paprika, a little oregano, some garlic powder. You can add a little bit of chipotle chili pepper if, or powder if you mm, like. Yes. Um, okay, so brown up your ground beef with all those fun seasonings and then add in a cup and a half of shredded cheddar, hmm. um, half a cup of green onions, and then take two tubes of biscuits. So buttermilk biscuits and kind of chop those up, quarter them or cut them in half and then mix it all together and fill a bunt pan really well oiled. So I've been brushing olive oil in the bunt pan so it'll come out um, and then bake it 30 minutes at 350 degrees. But the browning's a little nice. I like a little yeah. crunch on top. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. if it is and then, a little stuck. You know, so I pull it out of the pan right away. The hardest mm -hmm. part about this recipe is getting it out of the bunt pan. But Invert it right away as soon as you pull it out of the oven. Leave the pan on it like five minutes, let it cool down a little bit. And then you could top it with some um, sour cream when it's hot too. Oh my so goodness. Kind of and the sour cream will look like frosting. <laughs> oh, beautiful. So all the two, tricks. Two of our Beef Console breakfast recipes, but we have all of them on beeftips.com. So mm -hmm. if you click on As Seen on TV this month, you'll find um, these recipes plus many more and then links to our whole breakfast collection and a brunch collection. Oh, I love it, Angie. Thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. again. Appreciate it. We will be right back.